Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Poison Grove and this week I'm going to show you how to make some DIY bandy clamps. Now I'm sure there's a few of you out there wondering what is a bandy clamp? A bandy clamp is a clamp made by a company named Rockler. It looks a lot like this. They come in multiple different sizes. The only difference is between the tips is a large piece of rubber that creates a point of tension right here. That way, if you're working on a big project, maybe a piece of furniture, and you need to add some veneer on the face of it, or some decorative piece, and you're not able to stretch a clamp from one end to the other to hold that piece on there, you can use bandy clamps to pinch that face on there, and it will hold it in place while you attach it. Let me just preface this by saying I think Rockler is a great company. They make really good products, and their bandy clamps are actually very affordable. Unfortunately, where I live, there are no local stores that carry them, so I would need to order them. In the situation that I was in the other day, I was kind of stuck and needed some right at that moment. So a couple of days ago, I was working on this countertop. It was already installed, so there was no way for me to use a clamp because the countertop was up against the wall, but I needed some way to attach the face of that countertop back on while I glued it. And that's why I made these. They worked great. Let's get into it. All right, for this project, you're gonna need three things. Number one, a pair of scissors. Number two, some of these clamps. You can get them at any hardware store. They cost 99 cents. You wanna make sure you get the kind that have the hole drilled in the top and the bottom. And number three, you wanna get some of these mini bungee cords. They, these particular ones come in a package of eight. I got them at Home Depot for around $2. We're going to remove our bungee cord from the package. Now, if you'll look at this, slide your hook down, you'll see that the end is just a piece of wire wrapped around to keep this from coming off. You can be nice and tidy and undo that to straighten this out so your hook will come off. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off, just like that save us some time slide your hooks off now because this knot right here is so small I don't want it pulling back through the hole because we're gonna be putting tension on this so I'm gonna go ahead and double knot that end just to make it a little bit bigger so it won't pull through by accident all right now we take our bungee slide it through the two holes now this is the only tricky part. You want to make sure there is much tension as possible on this. So you're going to want to pull it super tight when you're putting in that first knot. There we go. And again, as this tightens, the knot will get smaller. And just for safety's sake, I don't want that knot pulling back through. So I'm going to go ahead and double knot this end also, just for safety precaution. All right, now we're just gonna take our scissors, snip that end off. I'm gonna take it a step further and take my lighter and just hit that end real quick to kind of clean it up. And there you go, a bandy clamp on the fly. Let's test it out. Got a couple pieces of scrap wood here. So we'll just say this is a shelf to a bookshelf or something that we're building and we need to put an edge on it or a face plate on it and there you go that is on there super tight it is not coming off works great on the fly or in a pinch all things you can pick up for a couple bucks at a hardware store and a makeshift on the fly bandy clamp all right and there you have it a quick and easy project that you may need in a pinch or on the fly. Uh, what it take us, like a minute and a half, two minutes to make these, and they worked out great. Now, I'm not saying that this is a complete substitute for Rockler. I'm probably gonna order a whole bunch of the Rockler bandy clamps anyways, but this was a great solution on the fly. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like it. If you wanna see other projects that we're working on, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's project. And if you have any other cool DIY hacks for tools, then make sure to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Be safe and have a great day.